The situation in West Asia remains tense. Since Hamas militants attacked Israel on the 7th of October, Israel has retaliated by bombing the Gaza Strip as it fights to eliminate Hamas. But as the war approaches the one-month mark, Yemen's Houthis have started attacking Israel. There are now fears that more players from the region might join the war to fight Israel. But who are these players? We are talking about Iran's axis of resistance. It is a multi-pronged network of different forces across West Asia resisting Western powers and Israel. It is an informal, loose-knit alliance that includes both Sunni and Shia Muslim groups, which also includes governments in Yemen, Syria, Lebanon, Gaza and Iraq. The group is supported to varying degrees by Iran. Moreover, the Iranian regime and its Quds Force, which is a subset of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, have expanded this network. Interestingly, the term axis of resistance is believed to have emerged in response to the former American president George W. Bush's use of the term axis of evil. Now, let's take a look at the members of this group. The axis includes the Lebanese militant group and Shia political party Hezbollah. Hezbollah operates both as a Shia Muslim political party and a militant group. It wields significant power, especially in southern Lebanon, and is active along Israel's northern border where tensions have been building up since the October 7th attack. Yemen's Houthi rebels also come under this axis. They are a formidable part of the axis of resistance. The Houthis have fought a civil war against Yemen's government, which is backed by Saudi Arabia for nearly a decade. The Houthis have demonstrated their missile and drone capabilities during the Yemen war, and the Houthis have rallied behind the Palestinians since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th. The Axis also comprises militias in the influential Iran-backed Popular Mobilization Forces in Iraq. It was formed to help fight ISIS in 2014. They participated in the campaign against ISIS and took over the control of the Iraqi sections of the land, of the land bridge back in 2017. Moreover, the new alliance was dominated from the outset by the militias loyal to Iran. The Badr organization is particularly strong having emerged from an Iraqi exile unit within the Revolutionary Guard, it has now become the most important instrument of the Quds Corps in Iraq today. Now, fears are mounting that these forces might join the war in West Asia. Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels have said that they had attacked Israel on Tuesday. They say a large batch of ballistic missiles and a large number of armed aircraft were fired at Israel. The Houthi rebels have pledged more attacks against Israel if its war on Hamas in Gaza continues, while experts believe that the unity of fronts of Iranian-backed proxy groups is a kind of NATO for militant groups in the region, which will provide military support should any other member groups face an existential threat. For instance, if you look at Yemen's Houthi rebels situated over 2,000 kilometers away from Israel, they managed to fire a barrage of missiles towards Israel. In a televised statement, the Houthi group's military spokesperson said that the operation was the third targeting Israel, with more to come. The Houthi rebels are expected to launch more missiles towards Israel. The militant group has a range of missiles at its disposal, with the likes of Typhoon long-range ballistic missiles, which are reminiscent of Iran's Ghadar ballistic missiles, Quds 4 and Quds Z-0 land attack cruise missiles that can engage land and naval targets, while previously known weapons of the militant group includes the various versions of Samad drones, which have a range varying from 1,200 kilometers to some 2,000 kilometers. These are also reminiscent of Iran's Shahid drones. Then there are the wide drones with a reported range of 2,500 kilometers and Quds 2 cruise missiles similar to Iran's Somar. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.